This fragrance is called Francesco Ungaro, fresh for him, and it's so cheap. My mom got this for my birthday a little bit ago for about $14. Um, you can find it on jomashop.com for $14. You can find it in most places on the internet for $20. I've even heard of people finding it in retail stores for $8. This thing is cheap, but it doesn't smell cheap. It's way better than it should be. It's by Emmanuel Ungaro. Emmanuel Ungaro is a French designer. Um, he himself was a designer. He, he you know, founded the, the designer house. Uh, he passed away, I think, in like 2019 or something like that. But French designer company, uh, mostly known for making power dresses for women, but they also have a lot of good men's clothes as well. But basically, they're a designer and they also wanted to dabble in making fragrances and their fragrances are super cheap in price, at least. Now, the quality for this is absolutely amazing. This fragrance smells like so many other great fragrances. Um, one that a lot of people draw comparisons to is Hermes H24, which I have, and I can confirm it kind of smells like H24. Um, when I first smelled it, though, I really thought of Dolce Gabbana Light Blue because I have a friend who wears that fragrance, and it smells almost identical to it. And then also Versace Mano Fresh. So basically, this thing is getting compared to some big boys. So it's got to be good. And again, I'm, I'm going to reiterate, this fragrance is really good. So what does it actually smell like? Well, it smells definitely like a classic fresh summer fragrance. That's what this thing is. Um, if you want to smell good, going out to the grocery store, working out in everyday things or on the go for traveling, because as you can see, this is a... This is a decent travel size right here. I actually was able to take this with me on my trip to New York uh, when I went there last. So I brought that with me um, visiting to New York uh, to visit family. And my brother in New York, too, he complimented me after wearing this. He was like, you smell good, bro. And I was like, thank you, because, you know, my bro, you know, we're, we're, we're two straight dudes. You know, we, we're not really going to compliment each other on how we smell very often. So I think the fact that he... Uh, thought it smelled good and he, and he told me about that I think that's a good sign for sure so definitely smells really good as I said but yeah um looking at this thing obviously again it is cheap you can tell even by the branding and design here I, I like the design they have on like this you know wrap that they have around it looks pretty cool it's pretty neat um but yeah as you can see it is pretty cheap um the cap is literally plastic but one thing that's neat even though the cap is plastic is how well it like snugly fits on there like it snugly fits into place i can literally hold it like this and it won't fall out i mean eventually it might but but i can hold it like that and the atomizer is actually surprisingly good like it's like kind of it feels like a pressured atomizer even though again it's made of plastic like the actual like spraying motion is pretty insane it's actually a really good atomizer for being made out of plastic so i'm gonna spray it on my hand now so I can get it on skin. And yeah, it smells great. Again, definitely very citrusy. It also has kind of an earthy smell to it too. And yeah, it just smells nice. It's a very pleasant smell. It's a very mass appealing DNA, mass appealing scent. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great fragrance for when you want just a simple one to carry around with you to school, to the gym. Um, I even went on a road trip to Oklahoma City to see the Kid Leroy uh, in concert with some of my friends. I brought that there, used it there. It worked out great. Um, this lasts a decent, well, uh, decently long amount of time. For me, at least, it lasts about five to six hours, which is not bad, again, for the price you're paying. Um, it probably varies on skin. Um, but yeah, I think five to six hours for something like this is a really good amount of time. And yeah, just about everyone tells me i smell good when i wear this and again it's so cheap but it's so effective so that's why it's just a good one to have in your arsenal so with that said we're gonna look at the notes of this fragrance like the actual listed notes so you guys can get a better understanding so the top notes are grapefruit ginger bergamot definitely smell all three of those right off the bat the middle notes you have geranium violet leaves mimosa and then the base notes, you have vetiver, oak moss, and patchouli. So this is actually a very interesting uh, combination of notes. And it's actually a lot more intricate. When you look at the notes, it's, you actually start to think like, wow, this is pretty intricate for such a cheap fragrance. Again, this fragrance is cheap, but, and you can even, 
in a in a way tell that it's cheap because it's it's it doesn't smell super complex but it's just nice and again like it's it's interesting enough like it's not gonna excite you incredibly but it's not gonna displease you incredibly as well it's very pleasing a great just solid travel fragrance or a fragrance just to carry with you everywhere oh and in terms of which seasons this is best suited for definitely gonna be summer and spring but again it's good for fall and winter too if you're like in indoor places a lot or again again carrying to school work functions okay you know if you're pulling up to a function and you just want a good fragrance that's a no-brainer to grab this one's good